Out on hand here at University Park, the campus of Penn State University in the old rec hall where tonight it's the Northeastern Women's Gymnastics Regional Championships and in rotation three we'll be watching Penn State, New Hampshire, Iowa State and Georgia competing in vault, uneven bars, balance beam and floor exercise. <laughs> Sydney Lions, the host team, they're uh, going through their rotation on the vault right now. Kate Stomper, five foot one, junior. It was, on the runway. it was interesting watching her warm up and just before she raised her hand for the judge like she does right now, her teammate Meredith was actually kind of coaching her, reminding her of, of landings. Listen to this. <laughs> Beautiful. I guess the coaching worked. Yeah, you can see the home crowd was tuned in on that one. Uh, all the other exercises were uh, quiet for that moment, and uh, the crowd got to enjoy this excellent vault. She looks so calm running down there. This is a huge vault. Half pipe back out. And holds on to that landing for a big finish. And the Cyclones of Iowa State, Janet Anson, just a freshman out of Kansas City, Missouri. Five foot five, finished the season strong on the beam, but disappointed a bit in the Big 12 championships. She's a nice, smooth balance beam routine. Now, she did have a little trouble at Big 12. She missed her series. The hands from the step out. She goes. This is what she missed at Big 12. So I guarantee she's worked on it since then, though. Nice. Yeah. Had a couple of nine nines this season on the beam. Her low on the air was at the Big 12 and on the beam at 9.25. And she's moving very well through this routine. I think just getting over the, the psychological factor of, of having missed a skill at the last meet, you get by that skill and the rest of it seems a little bit easier. Round of double twist. Sneaks in that landing. And Lisa Clark now, the Philadelphian who really turned on the host crowd here on the floor exercise, getting ready to finish off the vaults for the Lions. Listen. Yushchenko laid out for him. Wow. That was a great landing, a great stuck <laughs> landing, but a little bit interesting. I think her legs were probably a little too wide apart on the landing. Don't tell her. It's one way to, to create a good base to stick, and hopefully the judges from the angle they're at won't see it, but. Listen to this. <laughs> well, that's what it's all about. Some tears of uh, happiness and achieving uh, for from within yourself. You know you did your best. Uh, it's a great feeling. Kelsey Erickson, eight, uh, 9.875 in her first exercise of the evening on the beam, part of the powerful gym dogs of the University of Georgia. Not in their traditional red here tonight, but they stand out and are eye catchers, nevertheless, an excellent group. Nice big double pipe to open her floor routine. And Kelsey didn't even expect to be competing in all around her first season. Instead, she, she went out and was named the SEC Freshman of the Year. Yeah, she breaks into a, what do they have, 18 uh, members of the team? They have enormous depth in this team, and it really allows them to give the freshmen some experience that they need for the, the next few years, which basically builds a stronger year next year and the year after. You think of uh, Georgia, normally you think of uh, football, <laughs> basketball for the wrong reasons lately, but nothing compared to the uh, success of the gym dogs in women's gymnastics over the last 20 years at Athens. They have
have an incredible history. It's weird, looking through the bio, I competed with so many of those girls uh, over the years. It was kind of nice to look back at them. Wow. Strong routine. Just a freshman, Kelsey Erickson for the University of Georgia. There she is uh, again, very athletic. Strong first, she tell me passes, and here she ends with a huge double tuck dismount. Right on target. Now this is Elisa Zephyro from Pittsburgh competing in the vault in the individual sub-competition. And that was a great last vault by Lisa Clark. Maybe they're saving the 10-0 for Zephyro. Look at those eyes. I don't think that's going to be a 10-0, but it was a good ball, just a little knee flexion in the air and a tiny, tiny step on the landing. From our angle, we can see them coming straight down the uh, runway. Does it matter if they uh, stay or veer off the center line a little bit? It matters only that they have to stay within certain boundaries. Usually they have tape lines that they can't step out of or there will be deduction. Well, this should be a treat. Chelsea Bird from the University of Georgia on the floor exercise. Chi Chi, as her teammates call her. Whoa! Huge opening mount, double layout, sky high. And most gymnasts don't want that extra four inches because it just means they have to get around a little bit more. Yeah. She takes it to soften the landing a bit. Five foot three, but you can see how powerfully built she is. A senior, 21 years old, uh, 22 this coming summer. The path to the back layout step out, unique tumbling pass, but it was really pretty. Even powerful in her H macro series. Eight five for Chelsea already on the balance beam tonight. And beams her toughest event. She's got her three great events to go. Off to a great start. Here's the windup and the pitch. Big last selling pass. Tuck full in. Focusing double back. There you go, Chelsea Bird from the University of Georgia. Let's look back at uh, some of this uh, great, powerful routine. Barely even runs into it. Just knows her timing, knows her block. Nailed that one. Knows exactly how to land it. Here's her last tumbling pass. Tuck full in. Most girls are, are scared to open with that. Yeah, the Cyclones of Iowa State, and wow, what a mount for Aaron Detloff on the balance beam. Tough mount. Not only a front, but a front pike, and obviously a pike semi is going to be more difficult than a tough front semi. She scored 9.825 on the uneven parallel bars in her first pass of the evening. Solid series with the layout step out. Well, this is our third event together in women's gymnastics, and you really can see the quality on the beam of the teams assembled here in the regionals. Nice front summy. First one of those we've seen tonight. I'm Lou Tilly with Shannon Miller, the Olympic champion, bringing you the Northeast Regional Competition of the NCAA Women's Gymnastics here on the campus of Penn State. And you're watching Iowa State, one of the two co-favorites to move on. Top two of the six teams here will go to the Nationals in L.A., and that won't hurt the Cyclones. And now up on the balance bars. 
Michelle Pena Trustini, Mari um, pardon me, Mariana Pena Trustini from the University of New Hampshire. A lot of pure weddings she's been doing. Had a couple of form breaks. But not about her team so far. Setting up for her dismount. Nice tuck full in. Good one. Deandra O'Connor from the University of Pittsburgh scored 9675 on the beam, and here she is in the floor exercise. Opening pass, two and a half twist. Came close to that white line, but did not step out of bounds. What happens if you do? If you step out of bounds, it's a tenth deduction. One tenth of one point. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a toe or if it's a mile. One tenth deduction. A Rudy, which is a front handspring, one and a half twist. You can tell a little bit of difference in presentation between these girls and the experience that they have just almost by the looks on their faces and how they present to an audience and to the judges. Front full punch front snuck that landing in there. That's Deandra O'Connor competing for the University of Pennsylvania or rather Pittsburgh. This is our first tumbling pass, round up by handspring, two and a half twist. And finished up this way. Front full punch front, a little back on her heels, but saves it really nicely. And again, in the individual com competitions, the uh, competition within the team championships here, Brooke Hamilton taking her turn on the balance beam. Out of the University of Rhode Island. Nice standing layout step out to a back handspring. Usually you see that the other way around, back handspring to a layout step out. Shannon, do you see improvement by the women in any one exercise more than another over the years? Not really. I mean, it's it's very hard to say. The code changes, you know, oh, every yeah. four years, mm -hmm. and, and with college, sometimes even more often than that. Little bitty changes here and there. The equipment changes, and I think there's always kind of a bad event. I don't want to say bad, but you know, a rougher event for some athletes than others. It depends whether you're a more powerful athlete or maybe you have a lot of upper body strength, so bars comes easier. So I think it just depends on the athlete. Mm -hmm. I see. Hamilton is our last competitor on the balance beam and in the third rotation of six that we bring you this evening and we will be back with more from Penn State and the Northeast Regional NCAA Women's Gymnastics Championships right after this.